Hey, what's going on everybody? Jason here, bringing you a very special video. Uh, the craziest video I've ever done, by request of some of you guys. And this is by far the craziest thing I've ever done for an aquarium, is reinforce my floor. I had to go under the crawl space in my house, and I'm going to show you a quick video of that. Uh, it's only a couple minutes. Uh, I didn't show me doing it. I did it all, and then I filmed it real quick of what I did, and I will show you that. Uh, but it's real quick and the camera is shaking because there's like two and a half feet No, not even that there's like two feet 28 inches of room down there and it was dusty There was two dead mice a black widow and mouse poop everywhere um, We did kill a couple of mice when we first moved in here haven't seen any since but uh, uh, obviously there has been some and I hope I don't get sick breathing in mouse mouse poop dust Ugh. but so what I'm going to show you in the video, I mentioned these 2x4s that come down from the wall and they always go straight up. That's that white divider wall that divides my dining room and my living room. It's that, that little 3-4 foot wall that just that divider that my 55 gallon tank is sitting on. And those are the 2x4s that will be sticking down this video. I'll show you that. But, um, so I just I wanted to point that out so that would make sense when you see it down there. Um, but all I did was 2x4s and these cement pavers from Home Depot, they're like 2 bucks a piece. You'll see, but uh, hope you guys appreciate this video. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever gonna do that again, but um, it's definitely gonna hold the tank now, so watch this. What's up everybody, Jason here. Hope you guys appreciate me because I'm actually doing a video underneath my freaking house in the crawl space. Because some of you guys wanted to see how I do these braces. Floor reinforcements. Sorry, it's kind of hard not to shake. So, these 2x4s right here, sticking down. If I'm correct, those are the edge of the wall. That divider wall that my 55 gallon is against. My 55 gallon is basically right above, whoops. My 55 gallon is basically right above this big tin pipe and this is where that wall begins right there so here's my braces here's one I got uh, Home Depot cement pavers they're like two bucks and then some two by fours and so there's two there's three on that side and really all I did was just screw them against the trusses. Sorry, it's kind of hard to do. Whoop. I'm gonna have to show you from the other side. Oh. All right, there you can see the screws. So I'll screw through the truss into the two by four on the other side. And so the two by four is actually up bracing the plywood floor itself and then onto the pavers if that makes sense I'm not crawling back under there there was two dead mice and a black widow and I've just about had it under here I hope that makes sense there's that one right there there's that one braced up there there's three four screws and that comes down so nothing is actually attaching the 2x4 to the paver. It's just sitting on top of it. But, you know, it's pretty sturdy. It's just meant for extra brace. Besides, I've got this big old house brace right here. As you can see, i got big trusses. That's like right here in the dining room. And then there's actually another huge one right there. Uh, that one's actually in the living room where I'm standing most of the time. So honestly, I don't even think I need these braces, but just for to be safe, here they are. So there's six of them. There's three on this side, three on the other side of this tin pipe, and that's it. Uh, I'm not sure how clear this video is going to come out, but yeah, just... 2x4 screwed in 
touching the plywood floor so it would actually push on the 2x4. And the 2x4 is on the paver, not attached. But hey, it's just to brace it. All right, that's it. Hope you guys appreciate that. Thanks for watching. I'm getting the hell out of here because I've been under here for 45 minutes.